Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Lee Code called Decode String. Now, this problem is interesting because even after figuring out the logic, the implementation can still trip you up if you're not careful and visualizing it as you go. And this question is also part of Lee Code 75 playlist. I have that link down below as well as the GitHub repo containing the code for this problem and every other problem that we've ever done. Now, back to this problem, what are we going to do? Well, given an encoded string, we want to return its decoded string. The encoding rule is k of encoded string, where the encoded string inside the square brackets is being repeated exactly k times. k is guaranteed to be a positive integer. Now, this is just saying that our input's always valid. So example one, we have 3a, 2bc. So we're going to repeat a three times and bc together twice. So a, 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 bc, bc. Example two, we have three. So we want to repeat what's inside three times. So looking inside, we have a and then two and then c. So we want to repeat c twice. So it's going to be a, c, c. And all of that three times. So a, c, c, a, c, c, a, c, c. Example three, we have two repetitions of a, b, c, followed by three of just c, d, and then just e, f. Okay, so we're given an encoded string that we want to decode. So say we have the following example, and we see that we have multiple nested brackets, right? We have multiple repetitions that we'll need to do. For example, over here, we know we want to repeat whatever's in here four times. And when we look inside, we see that we have th followed by two eos, and all of that we want to repeat four times. Then it's going to be four lfs followed by an h and an i. So what we want to do is start with our innermost parenthesis and work our way out. Anytime we see this general pattern of starting at our innermost layer and working our way out, we always want to use a stack. So what I'm going to do is initialize my stack and we're just going to be looping through every single element in S and adding that to our stack. So going character by character, the first character we add is four, then our open bracket, T, H, two, open bracket, E, and then O. And we keep doing this up until we come across a closed bracket. As soon as we come across a closed bracket, we know we've reached our innermost endpoint for our repetition. So what we're doing so far is just looping through and adding our character to S if it's not a closed bracket. So for character in S, if the character is not a closed bracket, we're appending to our stack that character. Else if it is an open bracket, so we're at an open bracket right now, we want to find the corresponding closed bracket, so pop everything off of our stack and see the amount of times we want to repeat it. So what we're going to do is start building up our string. So our current string is going to be empty. Now, while we don't come across this corresponding open bracket, so while stack is not empty and the last element of stack is not an open bracket, we're going to pop off that last character from our stack and build up our current string. So current equals stack.pop. That's what we had in our current string so far. So at this point, what would we do? Well, we're in our while loop, so we're going to initialize current to be empty. While stack, that is true, it's not empty. And the last element of stack is not the open bracket. That's also true. We're going in our while loop. We're going to pop off what's in our stack, this last element, which is going to be O. And we're going to add that to the beginning of what we have in current so far. So O plus what we have in the beginning, which is nothing, is just going to be the string of O. We go back in this while loop because we still haven't hit that open bracket. We pop off again and add this to the beginning of current. So right now we have EO and we finish going through our first bracket entirely. There are no more characters we want to repeat in our first square bracket pair that we've come across. So we exit out of this while loop, but we still have this open bracket. So we're going to stack.pop one more time just to get rid of it. So stack.pop gets rid of this. And now we want to figure out how many times we want to repeat it. So we're going to do what we just did over here. Again, we're going to initialize our number to be empty. And while stack and stack negative one dot is digit. So what we're doing right now is making sure our stack exists, there are elements in there. And the last element is something that can be turned into a number. We're going to keep popping off and append that to our current number string that we're building. Say this wasn't two and it was 12. We need to get both digits. We want to get as many digits as there are. So right now, while this is true, we're going to add this to our number. So number equals stack dot pop plus number. So seeing this play out, we're going to initialize our number to be empty. While stack and stack of negative one is digit, this is true. We're going to pop off what's in here and append that to the front of number. So right now this is two. We go back in this while loop and while stack, this is true. This is no longer true. This cannot be a digit. So we don't go in this while loop. And now we know how many times we want to repeat this current string. So what we're going to do is append to stack. So stack dot append the current string that we have. So current times the number of times we want to repeat that. So first we need to turn this into an integer because it's a string right now. So int of num. So what we're doing is adding this to the end of our stack. 
Now, just finishing out this iteration, seeing all of it play out, let's go back in our for loop. At this point, we're at this character over here, the open bracket. We go back in our if condition. If it's not an open bracket, we can append it to our stack, but it is. So we're in this else condition again. Current is initialized to empty and while stack and stack of negative one is not the open bracket, that's true. We're going to pop off what's in stack. So current now equals EO EO. We go back in our loop, pop off that last element, add it to the beginning of current. We get the following, go back in our stack. This is still not an open bracket. So we're going to pop this off. Add this to the beginning of our current array. Going back in this while loop at this point, the last element in our stack is the open bracket. So we get out of this for loop and just pop that open bracket off initialize num to be empty and while there are elements in stack and the last digit is a number which it is we're going to pop it off add that to number we go back in here but we can see stack is empty so we don't win this while loop and now we're going to append to stack what we have in here four times so we have the following string now going back in this for loop moving this down we're going to make a check first thing make sure it's not a closed bracket it's not so we're going to append this character to our stack go back in the loop again append the character to our stack go back in the loop again and keep going in our loop again, appending characters up until we come across that closed bracket. So now that we are at our closed bracket, we're going to do the same thing again. Current's empty going in this while loop. We get F and then L. Pop off the last open bracket. Initialize them to be empty. Pop off the last digit. Stop when there are no more digits to do. And append that entire current string num times to our stack. Go back in the loop and add our characters. And we're just going to add H and I. Now, once we go through all the characters in S and there's nothing else to append or modify, we just want to return all the strings in here as one big string. So what we're going to do is return dot join of what we have in stack. So what this does is it joins all the strings in our array over here as one big string, which means this is what we're going to be returning in. Yeah, this is the decoded string of this encoded one we had over here. So let's go ahead and run this. And I'm also going to initialize our stack to be empty. So I'm going to put in this input just to see what we get as our output. And we get this exactly what we were expecting. So now let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted as well. So talking about space and time complexity for this solution, we're going through every single element in our input S. So it's going to be O of N if there are N elements in S. That's how much time we're going to take. And for space, there really isn't a good approximation for this because for space, our stack could be as big as that decoded string we end up having. So we can just put that in terms of another variable M, where M is the length of the decoded string. So that's going to be the space complexity for this problem. But we just went ahead and solved decode string. If you have any questions with this whatsoever, of course, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. And if this video was helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.